are you serious? This motherfucker is fly. Glad you like it. As I told you, it's yours. Are you seriously serious? For the fifth time, yes. Well, I gotta go. I'll be in touch about our little venture. Man, good looking. Yeah. This motherfucker. Woo! This is Franklin's new safe house. You can save vehicles by parking them in the garage. This boy Franklin got himself a house in the hills. He said it. It does look fly, man. He still got a bunch of cardboard blocks all over the place. He ain't solid snake, so he's got to finish unpacking, but that can wait for another time because we got a couple of missions that we need to get done. Franklin, you ain't been home. I got worried. Thought about calling you, but you never pick up. You damn right I never pick up your fucking funky ass phone calls. I don't like you, Aunt Denise, you crazy old bitch. Let's see what else your message has to say. That's the email. Typical way you treat your aunt. I have been I have I have been weak down there for I don't want to read any more of this sick lady's message. I don't want to hear about your pelvic and how you weak, how weak your vagina is. I don't I don't want to know. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, so we fucking with the lost again? I'm not even playing as Trevor. Why am I fucking with the lost? Hey asshole. You gonna give this boy back whatever you stole from him? I'll get your money back. Oh, he, boy, tearing up! Get dropped, you hoe. You gonna give me this two thousand dollars? Shit, I'm taking this for myself. That boy only need two thousand dollars. <laughs> that boy doesn't need it. I need it. Yeah, we gonna do this mission right here. Oh, that's that adder that I want to blow up. That it did blow up. How'd you get it repaired so fast, you punk ass? Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated... Possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh you... Finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose! Now, are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. I'm about to blow your bitch ass up with- Wait, where did he go? Son of a bitch! Punk ass? I don't give a fuck how rich you are. You keep running your mouth to me, I'll break my foot off in your ass. Or possibly a grenade launcher off in your ass. So that's the dude that Michael said he was gonna hook me up with. 
And this is the car theft missions that when we handed the bonds off to him, that's the missions he said he had for us. So we're gonna go steal some cars off some rich kids. I guess those are the kids of this guy's friends that he wants to rob. Why is everybody in every single GTA game such a fucking asshole? It's a damn shame, man. Alright, so we're gonna make our way to this gas station. That chick Molly said that these dudes like to drive along the Grand Sonora Freeway, so we got a hell of a drive in front of us, and it's gonna be even longer if my stupid ass doesn't realize what turns to take. And it's gonna be even longer since my driving is booty. But at least they gave me this sexy ass F620. I found the F620 early, early on in the game when I first was doing those missions with uh, Simeon. Yetarian. I had to first break into Michael's house. I found an F620 back then, and I haven't found one since. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there. Get him going at speed. Alright, so it looks like they're set up as cops. They're ready to pull these dudes over. And get the plan in action. I'm just about at these dudes, at this gas station where these dudes are at. Hopefully this goes to plan. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. All right, so one of these dudes got an entity and another has a, a cheetah. Two sexy looking cars. And we're racing them in our F620. Those two are high-end cars. This F620 is a coupe. It's not even a supercar in this game. And we're driving in oncoming traffic. What the hell? Hopefully I'll be able to keep up with these dudes. And not fall off the damn highway. <laughs> or crash into one of these big ass trucks. That's right, I got this super ability. I never use that. I'd probably drive better if I did use Franklin's uh, special driving ability a little bit more often. Oh, now I'm on oncoming traffic. Fuck that. Get back on the right side of the road. One addition to GTA 5 that I really like. Woo! Yeah, that special ability is really gonna come and save me during this mission. I really like the fact that they put in soundtracks to this game. So it's not just the radio stations, but during certain moments of the game, like when you're getting chased by cops or you're in some kind of a uh, mission, they have an actual soundtrack. I like that. Oh, excuse me, little sucker. I might have bumped you just a little bit. You gotta speed up. I don't see any indicators of where we're supposed to race to, so I guess I'm supposed to stay behind these guys. Because I don't know where I'm gonna be racing them to, so I shouldn't jump in front of them. And then they get off the damn highway. And then I'm lost. And then I've lost them. Woo! If I remember the phone call between... Michael and Franklin right. Michael said he's somewhere along, I think, Grapeseed? I don't know exactly where that's at on the map. But hopefully we're approaching this pretty soon. Yeah, it looks like it. the mini-map just disappeared. I'm still in control, though. And the cutscene hasn't triggered. Here we go, here we go. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Aw, oh, damn, that was a waste of a donut. Bye, donuts. I'll miss you. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. 
Officer T, huh? I'd hate to get pulled over by you. I got these guys on the right side of the road. He's gonna go into oncoming traffic because he's a fucking lunatic. I might not be able to handle that, especially since I don't have Franklin's special ability to weave in between traffic. I think they hear the sirens and don't give a fuck. They got those superpower cars, they figure they can. Stay on up, T, they'll stop eventually. They figure they can outrun us. Whoa, Trevor came out the cut. The boy flew in. What are you gonna do? Finger them in their asshole, Trevor, you freak? As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. I'm surprised we are keeping with them, man, on these bikes. But the police vehicles in GTA always are high powered. Got him, T. I'm right on your tail, baby. on a motorcycle. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, Michael? Pull over, motherfuckers! fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. This officer. Is entirely necessary. Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Damn, Mike. Hey. Hey, this boy's hey, hey. doing fucking car. grabbing his dick. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick. You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Gone! We're grabbing your shit, and we're gone, baby! Alright, so now we've got their cars, we gotta drive. I'm gonna drive as Franklin, because he's got that special ability. Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devon Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devon we got them cars. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. <laughs> Don't get mad, Mikey. You got them superpower cars. Uncle T. Creepy Uncle T. Dog. 
except you're a whole lot richer than you would be if you'd been working for Simeon. Trust me, I've been working for that dude in GTA Online and he pays shit. But like I was trying to say before, it's a good thing I picked Franklin because he has... Alright, so like I was saying, it's a good thing I picked Franklin's special ability. Because not only can I weave through cars at ease, but I can actually damage this car up and it might not affect the payment. Because Franklin, well, Michael and Trevor will take care of the cheetah and the entity. So I can bang up this. Boy, Trevor is in love. You don't want to stand in between him and a little bit of coochie because he will fuck you up. <laughs> This boy Trevor leaving stains thinking about that Molly chick. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh god, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan in Howick, follow him to the lockup, Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. We got that mission done, I fought the law, and the law did not win. Well, the law did win, because we were the law, and we won, and we got those cars. Anyway, we'll pick it up with uh, either the second Devon mission, which will be a Franklin and uh, Trevor mission, and uh, we'll do that 
and the next part, and then we'll work on those. I guess that's that S is for Solomon. That's Michael's movie theater contact. 